This video is going to look at uh, if statements and if statements or if then else statements if you want to give them their full name are uh, uh, a very important concept in all programming languages um, they're a very basic uh, logic uh, operator um, which you're going to need to get to grips with um, so we'll look at an example of where an if then else statement can be used um, we'll look at the little um, encoding application that we've been building and uh, a problem we've got with that at the moment is if we click on encode and nobody has typed anything into the text box we still get a message coming up that is blank because we want to display the value of the text box box it's blank here so it's going to be blank in the message so we can use an if statement to help out here and put a bit of basic validation in and bringing up a message uh, that says please enter a value if the user has not put something in that box so I'm just going to end my application there um, here's the line that uh, currently executes um, so I'm just going to get rid of that I'm going to start building my if statement so I put if s value equals quote quote so if s value is blank then and then whatever we put on the next line will happen if s value is blank um, but before I do that I'm just going to build up the rest of my if statement construct. Now I like to do that because then I know I've got all the bits and pieces and it should work properly. So I put in an else and I put in an end if at the end of the if statement. Now if s value is blank we want to bring up an error message. So we're going to use message box and please enter a value. If it's not blank then we can just display the value like we did before. Um, so if value is blank, error message, otherwise or else, display the value. So let's try it out. Nothing in the box, click on encode and we get the error message, please enter a value. Put something in the box this time, click on encode and it gives us the value instead. So we can really see how that works if we uh, use a breakpoint. Okay, nothing in the box, encode. And it steps onto that line. Please enter a value. And then ends. This time, if we put something in, click on encode. S value is 1, 2, 3, so it's not going to step onto this line. When I hit F8 in a second, it's going to go down to the else line and execute that one. So that's a simple if then else statement uh, used to good effect to validate that little application. Incidentally, um, you can write your logic the other way around. Um, so this block of code here does the same as this block of code here. So this is how we originally wrote the if statement. Here we're saying if not s value equals blank, so if there is something in there, then this time display the value of the variable. Else put your error message up. So we can just see that the logic is the other way around. Um, and we've done it by using the a not in there. So you can say if not something. Uh, the text in green there is a VB6 comment and we'll look at VB6 comments a bit more uh, in the next video but uh, it's achieved just by putting apostrophe and it basically means anything you write on that line is ignored and is not executed so it's useful to be able to help document your code. 